Good day guys, Austin here and in this tutorial today, which I hope will be quick, is my guide as to set up some more arcade systems. It's basically a bonus edition and that's why I have titled it Bonus Edition. Um, in here then, we've already set up MAME, or if you haven't, follow the link on the screen now. Boom and that will take you to a place that's already set up main and if you've not set up hyperspin well you're going to have to start all the way from the beginning and do it all the way from there anyway I haven't got time to dribble on this one I've got dinner to make today and I also want to knock out a few of these today if possible so anyway here's what I'm going to do down the bottom of the screen in the description you have a mega link as per normal in the mega link is all the media and information that you need in order to set this installation up make sure you smash on that link smash on over to mega in there you'll see a file download it and it should boom on your desktop as in this one okay there will be a 7-zip file um, basically a compressed file make sure you uncompress that I can't even speak it's too early in the morning here uh, make sure you uncompress that and you will have a another folder which is uncompressed called classics I'm just going to open this up so you can have a quick look however we will go, we'll go into detail as to what we've actually got in here as we're installing the files okay so what I'm going to do with this installation or guide I'm going to show you how to set up a few more systems in your arcade setup uh, these are basically just the classics and Atari Classics, Data East, Diary, Economy, all that kind of good stuff. These are not complete as of yet. These are just some that I threw together right now to get some more wheels on your system. Uh, there's a bit more art that's been added as we speak by other people. So as these updates become uh, more apparent and they're being released in more bundles, then I'll probably bundle them up also and send them out to you. Um, of course, go on the FTP, scour the internet yourself and find the artwork. But what I'm going to do is, this is just isn't to share the artwork, this is for me to show you how to, first of all, add more systems to your wheel. So in previous videos, we have uh, we have had um, all the default wheels setting up. So let me load up Hyperlodge HQ just so we can explain this quickly. I'm trying to fly through this one with as little waffle as possible, yet I still want to give you all the relevant information that you need as a user to be in order not only to set these up but give you a bit more knowledge so you, you can kind of go off on your own and start making things um, again I'm really waffling so D drive for us hyperspin setup this is what we've got so far if you've been following our setup uh, I'm going to load Hyperlaunch HQ and so far on our setup that we've been making here we haven't added any more systems all the systems that you'll see in the left hand pane are the ones that came as default enabled with Hyperlaunch HQ we're still going through these and setting them up I showed you RetroArch and I showed you Mega Drive later on today I'm going to bundle up a load of these systems um, with all the artwork and relevant media that you'll need to be able to get them running if this is the future <laughs> and I've already released them well take a look and I'll try and put a link to take you there now <laughs> but this isn't the future right now so I'm going to take you through this in real time okay so these are what we have enabled so far in here the guide that I'm showing you will also show you how to add a system to your actual setup one that isn't already set here by default so that's another handy hint and also it shows you how to use MAME in a different way okay so enough of my trying to explain it let's actually explain it okay so first of all what we need to do is we are setting up these wheels within our system obviously we not the main menu because of the <laughs> it's just the classics basically so I think it's about nine more wheels in total that we're adding on to our system okay um, let's go over to right first of all what we need to do is we've already downloaded our files we've got them already or hopefully as we're going through this you're downloading them uh, click on to hyper HQ because what we need to do is enable them in hyperspin these new wheels okay so we've got hyper HQ loaded up at the top you'll see a, a tab called main menu wizard click on that and you'll see a plus and a minus the plus says add a new item to the main menu or remove a new item to the main menu uh, what we're doing obviously is we're adding a new item so press the cl plus now this is imperative okay what we need to do is tell hyper launch and also hyper HQ or rocket launcher all these bloody things that I've showed you how to set up we need to tell it what the actual systems called now in theory you could name it anything 
However, there's implications further down the line. So this part is imperative to have, well, basically no complications and make life easy for yourself. What we need to do is not only spell this correctly and give it the correct name, but the capsulization, the punctuation, the spaces all have to be in the exact same place. Easiest way to do this is, first of all, I'm going to show you how to set up one system. Once you know how to do one system, it's basically exactly the same to set up all the rest of the systems here, except you just give different names for each system. It's that easy. And once you've done that, then you'll have this complete setup. Once you've done one, you know how to do it, and then it's just a case of seconds to do the rest of them. So I'm going to teach you how to do one. In this case, I'm going to do uh, Atari Classics, because it's at the top of the list. So I'm going to show you Atari Classics, and you do the rest of the ones that's here in exactly the same way as Atari Classics. Okay, so, Atari Classics. Now, I've got it written there, and obviously I know it's just Atari Classics. However, it may be a different one with capital letters somewhere, spaces. <laughs> Basically, you want to check that you've got it written correctly, and the same name that Hyper Launch or Rocket Launch or Hyperspin expects. So, easiest way to do that is uh, go into your root of your Hyper Launch folder, find Hyper Launch HQ, boom into that one. Once you're in there, you need the media folder boom into that one and then once you're in there you will see an icons folder open that one okay now you will see a list of icons and with the icons is an actual naming convention for each system now this is just for the hyper launch to work but you know that if basically these names match the system that you're putting in you've got it named correctly for hyper launch because otherwise these icons wouldn't be here so for, <laughs> to save me waffling on and waffling on and um, when you add a system, ensure that the name is identical, and I mean identical. Spacings, um, capital letters, spellings, everything is identical to what is in here. Now, in an ideal world, I would be able to just uh, copy the title and paste it into here. However, as you may be able to hear, I can't right click in this box. So, I've actually got to be careful and actually name it. This was not too bad, I'm doing Atari Classics. I mean, if I fuck up here, then... God strike me down. Please don't strike me down. <laughs> uh, Atari uh, Classics. Okay, so that looks right. Just double check as many times as possible, to be honest. Take time in this part if ever you take time. Because, like I said, you may get it to work. It may bob, pop up and it's working and everything's good. Trust me. At some point down the line, whether it be hours, minutes, days, months, years, you will have some kind of error popping up because you haven't named it correctly and it will take 50 times more work to try and nail down the error and then change everything around your system, mess everything up, just name it correctly, trust me. Okay, now we've done that and I've done that point enough, what I want to do is press next. Okay, does this menu have a sub wheel? Basically what I was asking is, once we click on, for example, Atari Classics and our main systems wheel, will it have a wheel underneath that? Well yes, because once we click onto that we then want to load our game. So in this case, yes. The one that's underneath it is, is this item an executable program? So in other words, what she's saying is, once I click that, do you want to open up a game or do you want to open up a program or something? Well no, we don't want to do that in this scenario. We want to actually open up the wheel so we can choose the game then to play. So does this have a sub wheel? Yes it does. Thank you very much. And then what it's asking now is where do we want to put this wheel in terms of its placement in the actual systems wheel. So uh, I'll show you how to reorganize this later on down the line when we start to fill up and things start getting a bit disorganized but we'll try our best to keep it organized as present. So in this scenario what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and keep all the arcadey kind of things together. So what I do is I click on the main. I only click it once just to highlight it. Then what I'm going to do is I can either put it before or after. I want to put it after because I want it to go main and then I want it to do kind of uh, the lesser wheels after that. So boom click add after are you sure you want to add the Atari's classics after main yes I am sure because that's why I press the button so there you go it's making its files and folders I've been downloading Candyman over here I already own that by the way so <laughs> I'm just making a backup that I've decided to download online <laughs> um, yeah so basically what it's done now is, it said tick, 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 tick. Everything that you've done so far, as far as we're concerned, is correct. And it's just giving me nice green ticks to emphasize that point. 
by clicking the next it's also giving me another super tick and giving me a lot of information that's basically saying well done you've just set up this system um, it's made lots of files and folders within your thing to enable you to set it up more completely and also uh, it's given a metaphoric symbol of saying here's a top hat with a collection of stars with a magic wand saying what you just done is magic um, <laughs> no, it's not it's just me bullshit and wasting time okay so we've set up that system if you were to go back to wheel settings up here in the tab and click a wheel there it is it's there in our hyper hq however the more important thing that we need to be thinking about now is that it's actually come into action into hyper launch hq or rocket launcher hq depending on how you like to name it there's a new big naming convention going on so anyway to to do that let's open it up at this moment in time we've still got the uh, Hyperlaunch HQ version it's exactly the same program it's just got a different name because they're changing the name so let's go over to our media hyperspin folder um, and in there we will see the shortcut that we made for Hyperlaunch HQ so let's boom that shortcut up now when this loads in the left hand pane if gods of games are blessing us we should have yes there it is the Atari classics um, not only title but more importantly it's got an icon next to it if that icon doesn't show up basically what it's saying is it knows that you've just put a system in but it's not matching up with what we've already got so if the icons not there start to worry delete the system by using the minus sign in the hyper HQ um, and start again ensuring that the naming convention is identical I can't stress it enough it's identical to what we want okay so we've done that so far we've added the system I've also been downloading uh, little monsters for the misses which we also have uh, and we're just making backups what I'm gonna do now <laughs> is I'm gonna pause my uh, backups of <laughs> DVDs downloaded pause all torrents there we go so we don't have any more interruptions and right back on track Hyperlaunch HQ we're gonna open we've got our Atari system in our left hand pane that's give us fuzzy feelings now we know that Hyper Launch HQ does it we've seen it in Hyper HQ and now we know that everything's picking up Atari Classics now what we have to do is actually set it up so Atari Classics boom emulators boom it's already set up for some reason but in your case it most probably won't so what we would need to do is click on the Atari Classics, click on emulators, go to ROM paths at the top of here you will have um, a blank screen so what you need to do is click on the uh, plus sign find the folder that actually has all of your MAME ROMs already installed so all the games that you've used to set up MAME point it towards that directory again okay I'm not going to click OK or find it because it's already there so I'm going to click cancel but in your case you would click OK then you would get a ROM path similar to this obviously a different path but in this area pointing it towards all your ROMs or games for MAME okay default emulator again you're going to be using MAME it's already done it again for some reason for me but what would happen is normally I would click this and as you can see this is this is the points that I'm trying to get out now if for some reason it's already given me MAME but in your instance I know that it won't so how do we get MAME how do we tell it default emulator if you click this and nothing pops up what the hell do you do well I'm going to tell you what you do first of all exit out of here because you don't want you don't need to know it in fact can I click clear no it keeps it in there anyway I'm going to show you how to do it anyway because basically it won't let you select anything at this point and there's no other options there to try and get anything. If I try to add an emulator, I'll have exactly the same problem. It won't let me do it because I've got no modules or no emulators that point towards Atari Classics. And Hyperlaunch is confused at this moment in time. So, what we need to do is override it, basically. So, when you get to this point and you're adding your default emulator for this or any of the other classics, what we need to do is go to Hyper HQ tab at the top here and in general options you will have valid emulator modules only so what we're doing now is when we go on to the emulators and we try to click a default emulator it's only going to show us the valid ones but it doesn't know that MAME is a valid one for this one it's not in its databases or whatever it is that it's doing its information so what we're doing is we're overriding it so what we need to do is valid emulator modules only no we don't want that not for this moment in time so then when we go back to our emulators 
and we try to put in our default emulator we will click the magnifying glass and boom look at this look at all these we can play with obviously 99.9% <laughs> of these will not work with this emulator that's one of the reasons why it only shows valid ones but we're going to override it because we know that MAME works in this scenario so where's MAME so I can pick it again uh, there so in this scenario I'd click on it or double click it and then there you go it's enabled MAME so now we've enabled uh, all the emulators to run through this one we've chosen the main one we've got our romp officer so basically that's it <laughs> that is it for, in terms of uh, setting it up for hyperlaunch hq for giving it the information to run um, there is other options that we can go to to get into more detail but to get it to run we've actually done it now at this point i would normally go back to my hyperlaunch hq and i would retick that However, this is the real world, and I know that you are most more than likely going to get set up more than Atari Classics in this little spurt of making new wheels. Okay, so I would personally go through each one of these, set them all up, then once you're complete, or if you take a break or anything like that, just so you remember, re-click this. Basically, you. So now, now it's re-clicked, and I go back to the emulators tab, and then I click on the magnifying glass and you'll see it no longer gives me the options but I've already got it in there so it doesn't make any difference okay so basically whenever you finish setting all these classics up go back to this tab retake that one and then it's just to keep hyperlaunch HQ uncluttered unmessy uncomplicated so you can use it better basically all these have an, all these are good options to have now but later on down the line you want to keep it organized because trust me you will start adding all kinds of systems down here and the less clutter and disorganization you have in here the better so it's good to keep things organized okay so me waffling on again I'm trying to keep this short but it's not going short we've got it all set up now what we need to do is tell it where databases are and stuff like that right back to the downloads what I've given you is everything that you need because I'm such a cool guy also I've put these into the correct uh, folder structures so as we go well basically all you need to do is open up your classics folder find the root folder of your um, hyperspin and if you're in the correct place you should see two folders in this folder structure one called databases and one called media now I've named everything and put them in folders so all you need to do is select both of these files take them over to your hyperspin setup drop them and now it will start to uh, put all the relevant databases media your wheels and all that good stuff into your folders into the relevant sh folders should I say uh, after a while it will probably ask me to want to overwrite stuff like it is now yes I do want to overwrite these ones as a destination replace because you will have a few folders that uh, well basically you want to overwrite it's, it's already made some files and folders but you want to make more okay so now in there you've got all the wheels and media that you will need and the themes for your new uh, Atari classics and as you make your way through it also includes all the themes and folders for your other classics as well like economy and all that kind of good stuff uh, also I've included all the databases for each one of these so now when we go into hyper launch HQ or rocket launcher HQ whatever you call it now um, as I go to my Atari classics in the left hand pane games tab at the top this little blue one says audit all systems now it will have a database to not only audit the um, how would you say to audit all the ROMs in your directories but also to um, how would you say uh, correspond it to the ROMs that you've got now what I've done I've been sneaky in this one um, I've been kinda clever what I've done is I've only given you the wheels for the games which are active in that system so the only wheels that I've given you media wise for Atari Classics are the wheels that exist or the games that exist for Atari Classics so in theory you should only have 
that many games. Now the databases, however, that I've given you is is the entire database for me. Now this might be a long-winded way of doing things, but as I click it, basically it's doing every game that MAME exists. So as you can see, all of these aren't in Atari Classics. No, they are not. These are made by a lot of other systems. So you think, may think, well, why are you giving me all this? Because now I'll have a, like a well, over 7,000 games in my wheel. Well, no, I'm not. Because now what we need to do is click out of here. We've done all our work so far in here. Everything so far now works in Hyper Launch or rocket launcher so exit out of here now take yourself over to the um, root folder again hyper HQ open this up takes a while for it to spool okay here's your hyper HQ go to wheel settings choose a wheel choose your Atari classics now this is where we actually home it in so it only shows the games that are involved with Atari Classics. We're being clever here and actually cheated the system, but it works very well. Okay, first of all, we need to tell it where our ROMs are or our games for this system. So we know that it's in our um, main directory, our main games or ROMs. So click on, in our case, Hyper Split. Well, in my case, it obviously it's different for you. ROMs. We'll then go down to main, wherever that's gone. There we go, main. It takes a while for this to, because there's that many files in there, it takes a while for it to actually search through the folder to make sure there's nothing else to see. Eventually it'll stop doing a little twirly thing that Windows does. And then I can click OK. Come on, come on, I've got to make dinner here. <laughs> Miss is going to be kicking off. Okay, there we go. So I've pointed it towards the root folder where all the main ROMs are. In my case, it's main 153. Could be completely different for yours. All these naming addresses and everything could be completely different. Depends on what version of main you're running. If you haven't already done this, then it's, 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 you should already have main running to get to this stage anyway. Okay, so click OK. And there, it says that the ROM path is there. Now what we need to do is tell it the extensions that it wants to look for in Hyperspin. So I know that they're all compressed or CHDs. So we'll give it, I know it doesn't use these, but I'll give it all the compression type file types and the CHD file type. I know it doesn't need them, it'll just be zip I think what it uses. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press 7z, comma, no space. This is how it likes to have these extensions done. So in the extensions little bit here, 7z comma no space ra no space put the comma uh, zip. This is the one that it's going to be actually be using comma no space and chd. I don't think it needs these because there is no chd. They're all the zip files anyway. Okay, so just put that in anyway and it will work. Done. That is all you need to do in this tab. Then you take yourself over to wheel. While we're here, we'll make it look good also. So what I like to do is uh, we haven't got all the themes sorted out. So in this instance, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it so it doesn't disappear the wheel. The wheel's always there. Okay, so in this instance, I've dragged it all the way over. So whenever I start going up and down, the wheel will turn, but it won't disappear because I've got no themes in there yet. I'll show you how to do that in later videos, but for now to get this working, do that all the way and it will look half decent. I think. Well, let's do it anyway. We can always go back and change it. Um, I like my style to be vertical, personal preference for you. Basically, the wheels go up, straight up and straight down instead of having it a curved like an actual wheel. Personal preference again. I'm going to keep it 400 and 240 just for shits and giggles. We don't need to worry about anything else in this, we can edit that later on. Navigation and themes, this is the important bit, so it only shows basically the Atari games. Okay, ROMs only, so now it's only going to show us games that we have in our system. That's a good one to tick. Parents only, mm, yes, why not? Let's click that because it's main, it likes having lots and lots of wheels, and we only want to show the main game for each one of those games basically because it may have loads of different variations I can't remember what wheels are given you but they're only Atari anyway but there might be a few of the same game but different versions it looks cluttered to me I just like to play the main version or my favorite version in that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click that also now this is the important one wheels only 
Now I've only given you the wheels for the Atari game, so by clicking that it's only going to show us in hyperspin the Atari games. Now you see how um, I fooled it, it's another way of doing hyperspin. Yeah, it's kind of strange because I've just given you a database for every game that it exists. But by doing that, I'm kind of using hyperspin against itself to help us. I don't know, it's, it, it sounds complicated, but trust me, if you do this with each system identically, you will have all these up and running and working no problem. In terms of these these arcade classics. So I've ticked all them three boxes and now we're good to go. Now also what I'd like to do is return to last game. So whenever I exit out of hyperspin, go to another wheel or something like that, when I come back it'll go to the same game that I left it on. So I'm not starting from the beginning every time. When you have normal main when you're looking at 7,000 and odd games, starting from the beginning every time makes it so you're not going to be using the ones at the end of your um, list very often because it's a pain in the ass to find them. Whereas now it just starts kind of where I left off. Um, also, I like to remove the text field info because basically what that does is t tells me what version number it is, where it's from. I don't want to know that, I just want to know the name of the game so that I can choose it properly. So I've clicked that one, click clones, return to last video game and done all these. And is that looking good? Yeah, that looks good. Um, also, I'm going to click, click clones use parent themes. We haven't put any themes in there, but it, it makes things better on down the line. Okay then, video. Now, this is an important one. We haven't set this up so far. We've always just kept it as default. However, we haven't got any default videos. And also, it's going to be a pain in the ass selecting all these default videos. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to kind of fool it again. We know that all these games are, are available in main. So, all we need to do is basically go to our hyperspin setup, which is the D drive. Okay, let's come out of there just so in case you missed that. So, at the left hand side there, we're going to click on that, and that's going to ask us for an address of where we think all these movies are for these games. So, in my case, it's in the D drive, it's in the hyperspin, it's in media. Now, what I want to use is my main video. So, I clicked in media, and now I'm looking for main. Boom, there it is. And there's a folder down here called video. So, click on that. And now all the videos that I've got for main will be somewhere in all these folders here. So now I've got that, click on OK, and there it is. Basically what I'm doing is, even though I'm using this for a completely different system or wheel, I'm actually using the same videos for main. And this can be used for a lot of different ones as well, like if you set it up Neo Geo, all the other Atari classics, or the economy classics, all the ones that I've just given you now. You can do exactly the same thing for this, because it's using all these same videos that main has. Okay, interesting. Okay. Now going to sounds, turn this fucking shit off because that does my head in. Enable wheel game sounds. So annoying. You know, it might be nice for a couple of clicks, but when you're going through hundreds of games, pain in the ass. Um, I, well, I, I like the little click. Special art. I think I've given you this in the folder. So if you've got an Xbox 360 controller, do what I'm doing now. Basically undo all these, undo C ones, undo the default one for B, but keep the B enabled, the first one. Now I'm going to change that to 500. Again, this is covered in another video, if you haven't seen it, then just do what I'm doing and it'll work only if you're using 360 control pad. Why? I want to use 384. In here, I want to use 1. In here, I want to use 1. And in here, I want to use 3. Okay, make sure that's on fade, make sure that's on non. All the others are ticked apart from that first one. Okay, and that should now, hopefully, by the, I don't know, the gods of Hyper HQ, if I click out of this, everything should save. And if I click Hyperspin now, it should load up and I should have an Atari wheel with all the systems enabled and all the. Um, games and wheels and movies and everything running. The only thing we need to do is actually play around with our themes. I've given you the system theme and the default theme so you don't have to worry about that. But again, I'll give you another pack later on. All I want to do now is show you how to add new systems to Hyperlaunch HQ and to give you a few more extra systems. Why not? It doesn't take two minutes but it's probably took ages again. Anyway, let's see if it does work. Please work because I want this to be quick. Hyperspin, so now I should have an Atari Classics uh, menu. I feel I've got an icon in there. 
Probably haven't got an icon for this yet. I need to change it. Okay, there we go. I'll show you how to put that in in a second. But there's the theme. Atari Classics is booming up. Everything's rocking and rolling. I actually need to give this a main uh, video. Yeah. I'll show you how to do that as well in a second. Okay, so now when I go into it, it should have the videos for each game and it should have a wheel down the right hand side. Boom! There we go. So now I can scroll through all these and it is all the Atari games that were released back in the day all working in our Atari wheel. Amazing. Well, that worked kind of well, didn't it? Nice. Cool. So, we know that main works and all that kind of stuff. You want to exit? Yes. We know, yeah, we know that main works. We know that um, everything runs in there. All the artwork's looking good. The only thing left to do now is to uh, add the main video. Well, basically, what I'm going to do is now I've got onto that, I'm going to give you the main video in a download link down below. So make sure you download that one. And also, to show you how to get the main icon in the main system wheel, go into your media. I've already given you this in a previous video. Go into media, uh, go into main menu, go into images, go into wheel. And there is all, all our main menu um, wheels, basically, even for systems that we haven't yet installed, but will be. And on the top here, you will have Classics. Now, in there, you should have a Atari Classics. Uh, no, you haven't. Okay. <laughs> I will include, again, in the description below, the Atari Classics wheel. I'll do that for you now. <laughs> um, but with that and the video now everything in MAME should be working now how cool is that so now you've got your uh, wheel set up you've got your game set up we've shown you how to show include another system that's not included by default and in order to get the uh, main wheel uh, in there, once I give you the download, all you need to do is drag and drop it into this pile that's here. Um, and then when the video, once you've downloaded that one, I'll come back out so you know where you're going. Okay, our D drive where ours is installed, wherever yours is installed, here's the root of the menu, into media, into main menu, and video. This is where all our videos are for the main menus. Okay, so when I give you the download for Atari Classics for the video, whack it in here. Okay, I'll also include a bundle of the other ones as well, so you're not losing out on those. Uh, you can look at them yourself. I mean, all you need to do is go to YouTube and download a video and whack it in there. It has to be in either FLV, an older version of uh, movie videos, or MP4, the more, more common version. Uh, all now are MP4s, I believe, but there may still be some FLVs still knocking around. I believe they don't work anymore in the new version, but anyway, enough of my ramblings. Um, I'll include these anyway, but if you want to use anything different, then basically download them from YouTube or whatever you want. Obviously, they have to be relevant for each system, as in Atari games. Anyway, everything else is included. There's a download. That's how you add other systems. Now we've added nine more wheels to our hyperlaunch hq or our hyperspin setups i've just given you everything you need you're a bit more fruitful in your knowledge and the world is still turning how interesting is that right now i've got to go make some dinner and then i will try and get a bundle of consoles artwork set up you already know how to do it in retro arch i'm going to whack out some more artwork for that and just give you a quick guide as how to introduce that into your system also okay so stay tuned make sure you subscribe make sure you share this video more importantly and all the other videos because sharing this stops people paying stupid money for stupid people who are just ripping you off basically whatever they're saying bullshit they just want your money and they'll offer you a piece of shit as long as you pay for it once you pay for it don't give a fuck You've got your money and they're laughing, laughing at you. So let's laugh at them, share all this shit around, 
and make sure that you get free setups, good setups, quality and everything's good. Okay, you have a good day guys and see you later.